Hey CFS Warriors, it's Victoria coming to you from Maui. And you know, the more I learn about neuro retraining, the more I understand why it's been so important for me during my recovery to get into visualizations and relaxation and into a healing state, which is what I did all along through meditation and through visualizations, either guided ones online or my own. And so I just want to share this one because I actually recorded it on the beach. It's an audio version. And I was just so immersed in the moment. It's part of my neural retraining while I'm in the islands. And I wanted to share it with you because I know when you're so debilitated with CFS as I used to be, it's really hard to even imagine yourself well again. And so there's a, a technique in NLP called borrowing. And so you can borrow from someone if you can't see yourself fully well or, or you know, doing a visualization the the, you know, whatever's going on in that visualization, borrow and, and think of it as if another person's doing it and you're kind of living it through them. And that is just as effective because it'll help your body get into a healing state. So anyway, I sure hope you enjoy this. There are a few things I talk about like Molokini and Haleakala, which is the volcano here, and then Lanai, Kohalave are all islands right off the coast. You can't see them right now from this view, but if you're on the beach, you can. So anyway, have a fabulous time on the beach. Love you guys. Okay, here's my memory visualization. So I'm sitting on the beach in McKenna, Maui, on a lava rock, nestled in the sand, the golden sand all around me with beautiful deep footprints of these people passing by. Not many, but a few beautiful faces that have said hello and smiled as they as they just strolled by on this beautiful beach. And the waves are lapping on the shore and the waves are rolling in with white surf. And it's just so beautiful. And they're just lapping amongst all the lava rocks that are kind of, there's a few lava rocks in different places on the beach and out in the water. And it's just such a beautiful sound as it rushes in amongst those rocks and, and just like massages them, just runs all around the side and, and bursts over them and then flows over them onto the sand and up on the beach, creating like a white surf that's just in beautiful mosaics in the water. And it's, it's just such a beautiful, slow melody that they make. And it's just so, it's so mesmerizing to look at it, to watch these waves just gently come up on the shore. And the ocean before me is beautiful green. There are some kayakers out in little yellow kayaks right out in front of me. And above me are clouds, beautiful wispy white clouds with a little bit of gray tinge on their underneath side, on their bellies and the blue sky and in the distance I see the West Maui Mountains their beautiful stately nature so majestic just sitting in the sea rising up so ethereal with the with the clouds hanging over them they're white puffy clouds and they give it such a mystic look you know as they as they cap the top of the West Maui Mountains and then as I look that direction, I see the ocean and the beach and then all the green of the island, this just total foresty green leading up to the beach and palm trees in the distance, just beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And then I turn and look the other way and I see my beautiful mementos of Maui, uh, Koholabe, so big and just sitting in the sea, placidly hugging Molokini that just sits in the ocean, that little rim of a volcano that's just, just speaking out such glory just by sitting there on the sea. And I remember so often snorkeling there, scuba diving there within its arms and then on the backside of it as well and all the amazing tropical fish that just 
are all around Molokini that would just come up so curious. So many colors, such vibrant stripes and 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 just blotches and circles on those fish. And then I also see McKenna, the mound of McKenna, that beautiful green hill that just says, I'm here. You know, I've been here for ages and I'm still here. All of this has, that's what's so beautiful and amazing about it. And there are some little birds on the beach here that are kind of twiddling around. There's a woman over near me on a, on a chair under an umbrella and she's got some food out and they're all wondering, are they gonna get some breakfast? She, yep, she just threw them a little bit of bread or whatever that is and they're all kind of chirping around, sweet little birds. And uh, yeah, so the, the sounds are just amazing. I hear the birds and I hear the surf crashing and rolling on the shore. And I feel, oh, just a nice little breeze coming off the ocean. And I also feel the sun warm on my back as I sit on the lava rock, it's uneven surface reminding me that it's wild and it's, it's uh, crazy. It's just wild and uh, earthy. I feel that sun on my back. It feels so warm and I feel a little moisture on my skin from my walk and the heat. But that constant little breeze coming off the ocean that just cools off my body. And it just feels so good. And I can taste my beautiful tropical tea that whenever I smell it at home, it reminds me of Haleakala, getting up and going up on an early morning to Haleakala. And I can just taste the tropics in there, the mango, the passion fruit, those beautiful flavors of this island. It feels so good just to be here, just to be sitting here knowing that I've got a whole day on Maui, a whole day of whatever I want to do. Just like when I was young and independent and living here and I had a day off. It was like, okay, what do I want to do? I'm in the biggest playground of my life that I love and I can do whatever I want. I can go snorkeling, I could go lie on the beach and read, I could go cruise around some shops, I could do whatever I want to do. I could go find a little hike, I could go exploring the property and look at the flowers. It's a beautiful day and it's beginning here in Maui. It's a beautiful, beautiful day. And so now I just allow all the beauty of this beautiful place to just sink into every cell of my body. I just let it fill me up to the brim. I just envision it like the green of that water, the ocean in front of me just coming up my legs coming up my thighs, my hips, my belly, my chest, my arms, filling me all the way up and coming all the way up to the top of my head. And I'm just filled with that beautiful, green, vibrant color. And it's fluid like the water. And it's just washing over me, washing out any residue that doesn't belong here, any residue that I don't want and just cleaning me with beautiful cleanness and purity and beauty and reminding me that life is to be lived and life is a wonderful adventure and that it's a beautiful place and that I'm supported and divinely held. And I can sit on this rock enjoy the beauty of this place and be a spectator and an observer of all this creation that God has placed here as a love language to me, as a message of love and a message of hope. Because these things are steadfast. These things that I see, Molokini, Koholave, the hill at McKenna, the West Maui Mountains, Lanai off in the distance and shrouded in clouds and sunlight. It's like all these things are immovable. They've been here. He is eternal, and these are reflections of his nature, and they will be here much longer than I will on this planet Earth. And they have seen many, many, many seasons and generations and 
come and go and even before any generations, before there were even people on this island, they have been here. So they have an eternal quality to them. And I'm just allowing that to soak into me as well, knowing that I come from a creator who is eternal. And I have my part to play on this island now. And I have my part to play in this life. And that I am made for life. I am made to shine His glory. And I am made to participate in the wonder of His creation. And so, yeah, I'm just going to let that whole idea just soak in me and just feel it because it feels so good. And so, yeah, there, that's it. It's just an amazing day. And I look forward to what the day on Maui holds. A beautiful, tropical adventure. And the tropics are my studio, and I play in them daily. It's a beautiful place to be.